Researchers are looking at the impacts of bioenergy cropping systems on insect diversity and services insects provide, such as pollination and pest suppression. This is a long-term study, and uh, we're really in the initial phases of that, so we're getting what we call baseline information. And baseline information is really is critically important because you have to know where you're starting from if you want to know uh, how these systems might change the, the picture in the future. But our baseline information is showing that poplar and willow are responding the same, but very differently from our grassland control that we have at this site. So already in the first several years, we're beginning to see that these systems are emerging as different from uh, agricultural uh, croplands, and that's an important finding for us to, to begin moving forward. In our general sampling plan, we collect insects and then we uh, bring them back into the lab. Uh, our workers process those insects by sorting them, first of all, to uh, to the order of insects and then later on down to family and genus and species. And we then can enter that data into our, uh, into our computer system and use it to analyze the community structure of the insect community. Insects respond quickly to changes in their habitats, changing the landscape from agriculture or pasture to woody biomass has its challenges. On former agricultural lands, lands that were maybe grazed or pastured in the past, uh, we think that uh, producers might plant fast-growing woody biomass species like willow and poplar uh, and harvest them every five to seven years uh, to, uh, as a source of biomass. Well, as we increase the amount of this woody material in the landscape, insect communities respond very quickly. So, for example, there's one type of community that we typically find in these old agricultural grasslands. And very rapidly, within a few years after planting the woody crops, we begin to see that that community shifts. Locating renewable sources of energy is important. In the U.S., we're very interested in uh, increasing uh, the amount of renewable fuel sources that we have, homegrown fuel, some people refer to it as, and forest biomass is one of those um, renewable sources of energy that we can tap into. But we want to do that in ways that actually enhance the quality of the landscape. So we want to preserve our native biodiversity, but we'd also like to grow crops that can help enhanced pollination services and pest control services for the general public at large. Michigan State University Ag Bio Research, changing the face of science.